Hello Kumar Sen and in this tutorial I am going to share with you a question which question already asked in gate previous year. This is a question of die. I hope you can read the question right? Yeah, you can read the question. So what they have asked in this question that a single die is thrown twice. This is the key. In this question this is one of the key that they are throwing this die they are throwing this die twice. So, a one die is having how many faces? You know that? Six faces, right? So, six multiple six is equal to 36. So, total number of possibilities for this case is 36. Remember that. Well, still the question is remaining. It's a two-line question, but there are many things to understand to solve this question with accuracy. Now, what is the probability that the sum is either 8 or 9? We need to know this. 8 or 9. What is sum? Let me share with you. Suppose that it's come 1 and 1, sum is 2. So, in this way, what we have to find out that sum is either it's either not either exactly i think it's neither yeah n is missing n e i t s yeah neither 8 nor 9 we have to find out this right so what we are going to exactly do we'll find out first the sum is sum is either 8 or 9 okay so what we have to do for this we need to do simple thing what is that let me share with you first of all we have to find out how many possibilities are there how many possibilities are there for this i mean for the sum eight or nine okay so let's go for it possibilities that means we'll find out sample space so total number of sample space is 36 now eight or nine let's get started with one is there anything one six maximum no not possible two yes two six and 6 2 okay 1 2 we got right already 2 got now 3 yeah 3 5 and 5 3 again another 2 you got for 8 only and 4 4 yes 4 4 we got and 1 now 5 already we have done 6 we have already done now we have done with this 8 right now let's go for the 9 so total number of possibilities we got for the case of 8 is 5. For 9, so 1, 6, no, 2, 6, no, 3, 6, yes. 3, 6 and 6, 3. So there are two possibilities, right? Now 3, 6 and 6, 3 done. 4, yes. 4, 5 and 5, 4. So total possibilities done, 2. Now, now... 4 we done, 5, 6, 3 we have done. So total number of possibilities we got 4. Now we could do it that we'll write all 36 possibilities then we'll choose 8 and 9 sum. But that could be quite lengthy. That's why I'm sharing with you the shortcut for solving this type of question when you don't have any other methods to implement okay so total number of possibilities according to this question is 5 plus 4 is 9 this is simple right <laughs> addition is simple anybody can do it at least if you are preparing for competition examination just like gate so total number of possibilities is 9 now what i am going to do i am going to find out probability that the sum is either 8 or 9 then 9 by 36 probability is equal to 9 by 36 30, that means 1 by 4 that is probability of sum of 8 or 9 if the question according to the question we have to go right they ask neither 8 nor 9 that means we have to do 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 by 4 is the right answer for this question. Now look at the options we have given in this question. So I think, not I think, it's C or right. Option C is the right answer for this question, isn't it? You can see it, right? So option C is the right answer for this question. So this is how you can find out probability in case of die. All right. Now, let me share with you one thing. If there are three dies, then what is the to total number of sample space? Do one thing. 6 multiple 6 multiple 6. So, 3 is 6. 3 is 6. So, that, that is 30. 36 multiple 6, I think. 6 and 21. Yeah, it's uh, uh, 
36 multiple 6 that means 216 that's right so total number simple space 216 if you're talking about die then you should know all these things and definitely try to use your brain to solve numerical problems that would be much better i hope you are understanding my tutorials right so then share with your friends they will also get help from my tutorials all right thank you very much for watching bye bye hope to see you again in my next video tutorial bye